Lucas, Luke 9. Then he called his twelve Talmudim together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach at the kingdom of Yahqua, and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves, nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the very dust of your feet, for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the Besara, and healing everywhere. Now Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed, because that it was said of some that Yahuchanan was risen from the dead, and of some that Eliyahu had appeared, and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, Yahuchanan have I beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that he rather they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place, belonging to the city called Beit Sayyad. And the people, when they knew it, followed him and received them and spoke unto them of the kingdom of Yahweh and healed them that had need of healing. And when the day began to wear away, they can't rather then came the twelve and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get victuals. For we are here in a desert place. But he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fish, except we should go and buy meat for all this people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his Talmudim, Make them sit by fifties in a company. And they did so and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them, and broke, and gave to the Talmudim, to set before the multitude. When they did eat, and were all filled, and there was taken up of fragments that remained to them twelve baskets. And it came to pass, as he was alone praying, his Talmudim were with him, and he asked them, saying, whom say the people that I am? They answering said, Yahuchanan the Immerser, but some say Eleahu, and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Kephi answering said, The Mashiach of Yahuwah. And he straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no man that thing, saying, the son of Adam must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his staff daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But... Whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world eth and lose himself, or be cast away? For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words, of him shall the son of Adam be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and in his father's, and of the holy angels." But I tell you of a truth, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see at the kingdom of Yahweh. And it came to pass about an eight days after these sayings, he took Kepha and Yahuchanan and Yaakov and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, 
which were Moshe and Eliyahu, which appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he should accomplish at Yerushalayim. But Kepha and they that were with him were heavy with sleep, and when they were awake, they saw his glory, and the two women, rather men, that stood with him. And it came to pass, as they departed from him, Kepha said unto Yahusha, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three kukoth, one for you, and one for Moshe, and one for Eliyahu, not knowing what he said. While he thus spoke, there came a cloud, and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my Yahid, the elect one. Hear him. And when the voice was passed, Yahusha was found alone, and they kept it close, and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him, and behold, the man of the company cried out, saying, Rabbi, I beseech you, look upon my son, for he is my only child. And lo, a ruach takes him, and he suddenly cries out, and it tears him that he foams again, and bruising him hardly departs from him. And I besought your Talmudim to cast him out, and they could not. And Yahusha answering said, O oh, unbelieving and perverse nation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring your son hither. And as he was yet a coming, the devil threw him down and tore him, and Yahusha rebuked the unclean Ruach, and healed the child, and delivered him again to his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of Yahweh, but while they wondered every one at all these things, rather at all things which Yahusha did, he said unto his Talmudim, Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the son of Adam shall be delivered into the hands of men. But they understood not this saying, and it was hid from them that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be greatest? And Yahusha, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receives me, and whosoever shall receive me, receives him that sent me. That, for he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. And Yehuchanan answered and said, Rabbi, we saw one casting out devils in your name, and we forbade him, because he follows not with us. And Yahusha said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Yerushalayim, and sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Shomoronim, and, rather, to make ready for him. And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he could, rather, would go to Yerushalayim, rather, would go to Yerushalayim. And when his Talmudim, Yaakov and Yahuchanan, saw this, they said, Adonai, will you that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Eliyahu did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of ruach ye are of. For the son of Adam is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. And it came to pass that, as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Yahusha, I will father, follow you whithersoever you go. And Yahusha said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the son of Adam has not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Adonai, suffer me first to go and bury my father. 
Yahusha said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go and preach at the kingdom of Yahweh. And another also said, Adonai, I will follow you, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my rather, which are at home at my house. And Yahusha said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plough and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahuwah.